Welcome to the Brant and Sherry Oddcast, sponsored by America's Christian Credit Union. To order Brant's latest book, Life is Hard, God is Good, Let's Dance, or to find out more about the show, go to BrantHanson.com. All right, so very quickly for the podcast, we'll just ask for prayer again. I don't think we can ever do that enough. And when you we meet you in places and you say you're praying for us, please know that that matters. So, yeah. There. There. All right. Thanks. That's. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. I. I mean. I think sometimes we're so busy doing the thing. Um. That God allows us to do, and we're so grateful to be able to do it that you you don't always count up the cost, so to speak, of you know, the spiritual impact that God is allowing you to have and that the enemy, we do have a spiritual enemy. There is darkness. Yeah. He's not sitting somewhere saying, you know, Brent and Sherry have a really nice show. That podcast is really top notch. You know what I mean? He's not, it, it's, yeah. you, it, and we don't give him more power than he has. We don't give him more glory than he has, but we are aware of his devices. The Bible tells us to be, and we ask you to pray for us. Yeah. There, there was a kind of a holy moly day last week we're like good <laughs> grief <laughs> like we just, from every possible angle at once and, and i i was just telling sherry we have a mutual friend who's insightful about spiritual stuff mm-hmm. uh, a little bit older than us and mm-hmm. he's just like in my experience when the enemy comes after you it can be a lot of stuff all at once just to try to make you feel hopeless yeah and so we're fine. Yeah, we are. And But it was a good reminder. And so, yeah, I do. Please, thanks for your prayers. Been doing kind of a theme about anxiety and peace. Actually, being at peace during a time of anxiety and anxiousness, particularly related to election season for a lot of people. But we can be at peace. So thankful for that. One way to do this, we've been talking about different reminders, how we can do that. I'm a firm believer in this. You can outsource your worries to God. Let him handle the thing you're worried about tell him about it. And the and scripture actually says, tell him what you need and then thank him for all that he has done. And then the peace, the peace that exceeds our experience mm-hmm. will guard your heart in Christ Jesus. That's where you get your peace. So you, you tell God what you need and then you outsource it to him. Like that's your, that's, that's your thing. You can pray for our country. You can pray for whatever your concerns are. You can pray, pray for your enemies. Ask God's blessing on them. This will put you at peace. And then and then turn to gratitude. It works every time. So maybe you've had something like this happen. I'm not like Mr. Outdoors or anything, but my wife and I do like hiking. Mm-hmm. We were in the mountains last year with a group, and there was a leader, and she was ex-military British lady. Okay. Knew her stuff, uh-huh. like mountaineering and stuff. She knew what she was doing. And we came across this stream. She's like, you could drink out of that. And I'm like... Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I just don't. I would have been that way too. Yeah, right? Because you're yeah. like, I don't want to be sick the rest right. of the trip, but right. she does know what she's talking about. Mm-hmm. She's an expert in this mountain range. Mm-hmm. So I went ahead and tried it. It was really good. Mm-hmm. Didn't get sick. But it reminded me, trusting, we think like trust is an emotion or something. It's not an emotion, it's a decision. Yeah. I, I As a decision, I trusted her because it's like, well, she knows, you know, she hasn't steered me wrong. I could, mm-hmm. That wasn't an emotion. The same thing with trusting God. You don't have to feel it. You decide to do it based on the fact that you've learned he's trustworthy. Man, are we cool out here or what, all of us? What do you mean? All of us. All of us? We're out here doing stuff person? on TikTok and stuff. People are doing some cool stuff, yes, this generation. Sure. Um, of which you include yourself. Yeah. Interesting. The people alive now, we're out here rucking. That means you have like a rucksack on your back. Mm-hmm. You carry stuff. And it enhances your workout if you're running or walking. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, yeah I saw that. It's pretty cool. Well, all the influencers. All the influencers have a little backpack on yeah. in there. We've like, invented carrying things on our back. Yeah, in no gen- one in human right. history has ever done that before. Love to go back to Ugga and Grog in a cave and say, <laughs> Check us out. Yeah, we figured out how to carry stuff on our backs. <laughs> It's called cardio drumming. It's like a new thing. The headline, cardio drumming is the hot new exercise trend to purge your daily anger and frustration. So it's, you put an exercise ball on top of like a trash can, like a plastic bucket. Okay. Trash, yeah. And you hit it with drumsticks in a group along with the music. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Fine. All right. Yeah. 
But the interesting thing to me was how they put this headline together. Uh -huh. Cardio drumming is the hot new exercise trend to purge your daily anger and frustration. So when you're done drumming on that ball that's on a bucket, I guess it's you'll gone. feel better. Yeah. Okay. But it's just a given. Yes. Your daily <laughs> anger and frustration. That's just a, like everybody, obviously. Right, right, right. And I would like to be like uh, the dude from the Matrix here. What if I told you mm. that there was a way to live that would help you with your daily anger and frustration? Yeah, yeah. That's actually more brilliant mm -hmm. than all the other ideas. And that Jesus gives us a way to live. Yeah. And that you may find that your daily anger isn't so daily anymore. You, you really, I can tell you that that's true. Speaking of Jesus, we were just talking about him. We tend to do that here on the show, but he, uh, he's always quoting the Bible. And I had this discussion again with a friend recently. We're just marveling at it because some people will be like, oh, you know, the Bible is this and that, but oh, it's, it's all about Jesus. I don't have, I don't need the Bible. I just, yeah. me and Jesus, man. Like, well, but Jesus is constantly quoting it. Yes. Constantly. It's call, like subtle callbacks or overt mm -hmm. callbacks, overt quoting. And like, whoa, it's almost everything he says. Yeah. So if I'm going to follow him, he's my rabbi. Like I'm going to, I need to kind of start doing that too. Yeah. Right? Yeah, he's, absolutely. Just be so bathed in it that it's just, it's on, on my mind all the time. And I'm thinking about it, turning it over in my head and talking about it. If you haven't heard about them yet, they're one of our sponsors, and we're super glad about it. We really like them. America's Christian Credit Union, they do all the normal banking stuff, mm -hmm. and the rates they give you for stuff is, is fantastic. And though it sounds like we don't know what we're talking about, they know what they're doing. Right. Yeah. Because we don't. <laughs> but they do. But yes. they do. And we're, uh, we're honored to partner with them and, and bank with them, by the way. All you have to do, if you're interested, just go to BrantHanson.com. You can click on the, the thing there and check them out. Don't know if you were a music major or you knew any music majors, um, or maybe you are one, but I knew some and I would go with them sometimes to their practice rooms. Mm -hmm. There's just nothing in there except the instrument. Right. Like on campus. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's just long row of just the instrument. Yeah. There's nothing on the walls. There's no phone in there. Mm -hmm. Like or like an emergency phone back in the day that you would have, like nothing. Just no distractions. That's how you learn how to play an instrument. Mm. If you're constantly being distracted, you won't learn it. And I think that's brilliant. Yeah. And I think it's brilliant that Jesus tells us to go into our secret room to pray. Mm. It's really hard not to be distracted. Even the presence of our phone, they say, just even if you're not looking at it, the very presence of it nearby us can be a distraction. Yeah. But there's something about saying, you know what? I'm going to leave my phone behind, even if it's just for 10 minutes. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm going to do my best not to be distracted. Here's the disclaimer again. This is just a podcast thing. And the reason we give this disclaimer is because other stuff that you hear will put on Christian radio stations. Right. So, but those are like, if somebody hits that radio station button or they, they, they go to that station, like they may not know who we are. Right. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. They may be there for the music. They may, but if but I'm they just. They came in halfway in, so they didn't catch the context of it. There's just so yeah. many different scenarios. They didn't necessarily opt in to us. Right. And I yes. want to respect that. Yes. And we, yes. we respect yes. you for, for opting in for mm -hmm. as long as you want. And <laughs> I appreciate that. But... Right now, you might be like, I'm opting out. And what do you fine. think of the idea? So I, just, I just couldn't share this in a brief way that would be immediately accessible to people. Uh huh. People always live up to their beliefs. What do you think about that statement? Um, I think that that is true they just not they may not be subconsciously doing it meaning they may not say i believe this yes but your actions will show what you believe bingo i think so too yeah so you all we actually all do live up to our beliefs yes it's having the humility to say and i've had to do it I've had to look at my bank account. I've had to like, look. What people. do I really believe? What do I really believe? Because these are the actions. These are the things I'm doing. Um, and, th and that's, you know, hopefully when we can be transformed. But yeah. th the humility has to come to say, whatever I say is not matching what I actually believe. Yeah. What I say I believe. Yeah. And what I think I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think I believe this, but the reality is. Right. I don't. Right. Because I don't do that. Yeah. And it I've takes heard, a lot of humility, though, man. It does, uh, but it, it seems really healthy. Yeah, it's just one of those. <laughs> it's one of those ways of rethinking 
stuff. Like, okay, if I was going to actually draft my beliefs from what the, what they really are, mm-hmm. I think I would need to look at my schedule. Yep. And my bank account. Yeah. For starters. Yeah. And then I could drive. An objective d- observer could go. Here's what Brand actually believes, mm-hmm. and I hope it. I hope it lines up with stuff I say. It's about to happen. Uh, right after the show today, mm-hmm. producer Sherry, you'll yes. be interested to know. Uh huh. I'm gonna try to fix something. I'm gonna fix. I'm gonna try to fix a tech. Like food? No, it's a Bluetooth speaker. It's oh, not you're, working. Oh, okay. Looked it up on YouTube. Do this, do that. It said moderate difficulty. Uh huh. I got the tools. I'm gonna try it. On a scale of one to ten, how confident are you that this is gonna work? Oh, it's not gonna work. Okay. But zero. I have to do this every few years to remind myself why I just hired people. <laughs> Every now and then, I'm like, you as know what? As long as you have a purpose. I can do sure. DIY. And then I'm like, no. Oh, no. No, I can't. <laughs> so I hope this is helpful to you, really, at a deep personal level. We've been talking about being at peace during a time of anxiety and anger, like election season and all that just exacerbates everything. But here's a very important tip that we share a lot on this show because it's true and it's rooted in scripture repeatedly. Turn your mind to gratitude. Mm-hmm. It chases out anxiety. We're told directly to do this in Philippians. We're told specifically, tell God what you need. Okay, so that's what's on your mind. And then thank him for all he has done. And then that peace follows. So we can't say that enough. Like start thinking about the ways that God has blessed you. Maybe reframe some things like to realize, wait, God's actually been really good to me. I have this home. I have these people in my life. I've got instantly I'm telling you it's very immediate you start to feel that anxiety lift i guess it's the new hot thing in food it's ranch dressing on eggs it, uh. yeah um it's hot uh. it made the papers there's a guy talking about it he's like look uh it's really good the flavors just pop <laughs> I think it makes everything taste a little better. His name's Nick Higgins, I guess. Well, I mean, I, I'm. This is coming from a person myself who could probably eat ranch dressing with a spoon. That being said, yeah. on eggs, it's not. Yeah. Doesn't sound quite. Nick Higgins says it sounds great. Well, Nick and says it pops. I get Nick, it, but I just. I, I like, did a little more research. He's an executive of uh, Clorox. It's called, and they're the parent company for something called Hidden Valley. Ah. Uh, Ranch. Okay, so it's an unbiased opinion. Yeah, he thinks more ranch dressing on it would be good. <laughs> the Brant and Sherry Oddcast, sponsored by America's Christian Credit Union. To find out more about the show, go to BrantHanson.com.